Well, go on, everybody. Lennox here from Simple One Two Tree Trader. It is Sunday, November twentieth, and this is the weekly playbook outlook for the week of the twentieth to the twenty fifth. And then we'll start off with a look at the uh, Australian dollar on the futures on the weekly time frame, and. For this week, uh, last for last week, um, we had a um, a lot of uh, weakness overall. A uh, pull, a pushback to the downside. We're in an overall downtrend, and we had uh, some weakness last week, and looking this week uh, to continue that weakness uh, as we start off. Um, and on the daily time frame, as you can see, uh, we are in an overall move to the downside again. So we, it was a, a, an attempt over the last month or so for a big move to the upside, but we're getting a, a retrace. So we're looking uh, this week for further uh, uh, retrace of the current move to the downside um, at this point. So a weak Australian dollar and... Um, it is uh, more than likely a continuation, a re just a retrace of the current move to the downside uh, for the Australian dollar. Okay, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin is also uh, on the weekly time frame in an in an overall uh, downtrend. As you can see, we've broken through the the previous lows. We're heading down towards. Uh, what I have been calling for the last uh, uh, few months, uh, $10,000 or less in Bitcoin. And it looks like that's where we're heading. This can take a, take a few more months, but uh, you know we're, we're heading down in that, in that direction. We're, we've already touched the low of uh, 14,925. So we're, we're certainly uh, going in that direction. So for this week, um, you can see right now we've started off in a downward mode and we are sideways, uh, but looking for further weakness as we head into the week for Bitcoin. Crude oil on the weekly also um, looking to continue its downward um, trend. We um, are certainly um, right on the cusp of a further uh, moves to the downside and that's that's how it's playing out and looks very weak overall for um, crude oil okay, I don't even see any 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 kind of retrace opportunities to to sell into uh, to that um, to any kind of strength move to the upside there would be opportunities to sell looking very uh, very weak uh, for oil. We could break those lows this week. Taking a look at the DAX on the weekly, the DAX has um, shown some strength over the past month and um, looking to continue that, that strong move to the upside. Uh, we've got um, not much uh, in, in ways of uh, resistance at this point, so uh, further moves up in the DAX is uh, imminent. The Canadian dollar, it's been in a downward uh, mode for the last, uh, for the last week it, it went into a downward mode and looks to continue that move to the downside. Maybe that might be just short term, um, but overall we're in a downward mode, so uh, I'm seeing further, further downside uh, for the Canadian dollar this week. Looking at the US dollar, U.S. dollar um, also uh, huge drops in the last couple of weeks, and I was trying to push back to the upside, and looking like it does have a little bit of strength uh, and should push uh, to retrace the, the previous drop. So uh, strength in the U.S. dollar going into this week. Okay, the euro, uh, because of the strength in the U.S. dollar, we'll see the euro. Uh, heading to the downside. You can see that we've been in an overall st strong move to the upside, and but now we're starting to turn back 
to the downside and uh, again another retrace of the current move is imminent for the euro the swiss franc also looking to um for further downside in the uh, Swiss franc, you can see that it had quite a push to the upside, but now we're retracing that that move as well. It's a lot of retrace of, of previous moves. Um, uh, it's happening here. You, we, you can see that we've had we're, uh, we've had quite violent moves up and down here. We broke through these these levels, dropped all the way down, but came back in up into these levels, and now we're pushing back to the downside. So a lot of weakness going into this week in the Swiss franc gold on the weekly also uh, trying to make a big push but again also uh, hitting some resistance area and looking for again retrace to the downside some weakness in gold coming on for this week Japanese yen also uh, similar uh, trying to push to the upside but is is hitting um, a little bit of resistance we could see some pull pullback in the short term and uh, before we see continuation to the upside but right now um, weakness um, in the short term this week for the Japanese yen the New Zealand uh, dollar um, similar to the Aussie uh, also looking for further declines especially if the US dollar continues its strength and so we could see this um, movements uh, again to the downside for New Zealand dollar. The British pound also, again, uh, it's just the same repetitive story, but uh, they're all um, looking for further declines. A strong US dollar is propelling these to the downside at this point. Okay. Um, silver, the light gold. Um, was trying to make a, a move to the upside, but again, is getting um, a pullback um, into this week. So further declines here for silver. The US uh, 2000, the Russell, um, has been um, pretty uh, strong uh, lately, but is also hitting a peak area and looking to fall into this week. So some weakness there uh, the the Dow one of the, the very strong hitting resistance right uh, this week uh, we could see um, drops also further declines into uh, this week for the Dow the S&P 500 the same story uh, strong pushes in the last couple of weeks to the upside but We've hit uh, an area where we could see further, uh, just may, could be just short term, but we're essentially retracing and we could see one further push uh, possible, but um, don't know if that's going to happen this week. It looks uh, like a little bit of weakness going into this week as well. Uh, for the technology group, the same type of story. Um, we have been uh, strong in the last couple of weeks, but now we're starting to retrace and looking for further declines. Um, for the U.S. technology group. So that is a look at what's setting up for this week for the members of the uh, Simple123 uh, trading group. Keep your eyes on the U.S. dollar if you're playing the major pairs. Profitable trading to everyone. We're done now. Thank you.